Hey guys, it's me again with a new video. So I got the update and now it's downloading and uh, I'm gonna download it and update. And after that, we will go through the settings. And during that time, we're gonna go to Lidlock and see what modules work and what modules don't. I will see you after the update. All right, we're all updated and good. And uh, I have a couple of bullet points that I wanna go over. I know I'm, there's a lot of things changed, but I'm not gonna go all, uh, over all of them. So I'm gonna go a over a couple of things that I've noticed. Number one, gestures are working like they should now. Uh, before, they were really finicky. So if you swipe up, things might not work. Uh, like this, when I go here, I remember like when I swipe up like that, it would literally go to recents, but now it works just flawlessly. And to enable gestures, you go to settings, and you go to display and you go all the way down to navigation bar and choose the bottom one. Now when you swipe, everything's working. Number two. Number two is uh, before when you go to settings and then you go to apps, you will see the apps that are installed by you. Uh, and the, the, the ones that are installed by Samsung. If you wanted to get system apps as well, you would have to click the three dots and then it says uh, show system apps. And this update, they removed it, they moved it actually from here and they put it in this little uh, three lines here. So you click that and you do show system apps. Now you will see all the system apps. Number three, in the same section, they added uh, two two sections here. This one is actually older, but they removed it. It was it was here, and now they moved it in its own section. So if you want to choose a default browser, a default uh, dialer, whatever, you go to settings, apps, and then you come to this, and it'll be right here. The new section is this one where it says Samsung app settings. This is a cool one. Uh, they put all the Samsung apps into one section where you can go into them individually and change certain settings and instead of go hunting around for each app differently. Number four, they did add a couple of more bloat apps that I don't see useful. Uh, one of them is called Samsung Free and then another one called Samsung Galaxy Friends. There was a third one. I'm not sure if it's new or not. It's called, it's called Samsung Visit In. So I looked in the Galaxy Store. I looked everywhere in, on the phone. All these apps seem to do is track location and cater ads to you or marketing or whatever. So I had to go in a, into a terminal and delete all of those apps uh, through ADB. If you want to know how to delete uh, Samsung system apps, uh, drop a comment below and I will make a video about it. Number five. Uh, it used to be when you wanted to lock your phone, you had to press the power button and then locks that phone. Now. Uh, they added a double tap on the home screen. Uh, I can't do it now. It's going to stop my uh, my recording. But it used to be only on the lock screen where you want to wake the phone up. You double you double uh, click on the or double tap, and it wakes it up. And now we can actually lock the screen with double tap. Now to the stuff that you guys are, have been waiting for. Uh, does good lock work? Does hex installer work? Good lock actually works just fine. Uh, they have managed to, uh, to update all the modules in the last couple of months. There are only two modules that are not working, and I don't think they're really that important. One of them is Multistar, uh, which it's, this is the one that helps you, you know, get more features for multitasking, split windows, and all that garbage that I've never used. And Navstar. Navstar is where you can customize your navigation bar, and also that, that I don't use that either. But everything else actually works just fine. I've tried all, all of them, they work no problem. Hex installer works just fine. Uh, the only thing, I, ha I had a, a smaller issue with it where when I opened Hexified, it would like blank out. There's no uh, themes or anything. So what I did is actually just hold on this one and then press this little eye and just clear the cache and data. So I went to this. Uh, storage, if I can get it right, storage, and then clear cache, and then manage storage, clear all data, and that uh, made it work. Number eight, 
I noticed that they made the settings a little more clunky. I mean, cluttered. You know, it used to be only, you know, that the name of the main section. Now they added more descriptive uh, text under it. I, I don't like it. It makes the the settings really jammed with a lot of text. Just uh, thought I'd let you know. And then you got, what else do they have? Uh, number nine, they added recently sent notifications in the notification category or section. So when you go to notification, you will see a new section called recently sent. This will show you uh, any application that sent you a notification and you can actually disable notification from here. This is very useful. And instead of hunting into each app individually, going back to settings and then apps, and then going into each app individually and going into permissions. You can literally just go into your notifications and see what app uh, sent your notification. And if you hit the more uh, section here, you will see all the app. And you can actually enable a notification from each individual app or disable it. Of course, they're not going to stop it from Samsung. Uh, like here, DSP control service, that's grayed out, but you can stop notification from Bixby altogether. Same with, let's say, email. Uh, you can disable it altogether. I, th I thought that was a cool idea. Number 10, and I think that's the last one. Uh, they, they have some touch sounds. I don't think they're new, but I don't think they worked before. So when you go to your settings and then sounds and, not and vibration, you go to system sound. This changes the sound, how you touch your phone, uh, like the sound when you touch your phone. Look, listen to this. That's the sound of uh, plugging in the charger. Or this, or that, or that. So, uh, I don't think it was working before, but now it's working just fine. So what you do is you choose one of them, make sure you go back, then the touch will work. So when I go here, that changes the touch sound. I go back and change it, let's say, to retro. Go back. It'll give you the old Samsung jelly bean. You hear that? And the other one, which is, I think, calm. I have to back up. I like this one. Anyway. That's about it. Uh, if you have any question, leave it down below. If you have any su suggestions, same thing. Uh, otherwise, I appreciate you watching. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.